Yeah. A picture postcard community in Vermont. But like most places like this, there's troubles in paradise. It's to do with a 41-year-old woman who's fighting to save the lake from pollution. Sounds like a symbol of salvation. But when I first met Sandra Good 20 years ago in a place called Death Valley, she was a symbol of Satan, the bedmate and lover of the ultimate architect of evil, Charles Manson. We knew our backs were against the wall, and we had the balls, we had the balls and the heart to, to work for change. In revolution, there's going to be death. It's inevitable. Manson never killed anyone. It's just hard to explain. He's a, he's a very brilliant, wise being. There's no man like him on earth. Just last Monday, I had a sickening exchange with a woman who answers with a voice of Charles Manson, whose disciples of the devil massacred seven people in 1969. You'd like very much to see Charles Manson right now. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you write letters back and forth to each other? Um, there's no need to communicate verbally. Do you think you have some sort of sense, of exosensory connection with Charles oh, when I When I tune into life out there, when I'm walking and I'm looking at the sun or looking at the, feeling the, the force of life, you know, that you feel in the woods or desert or wherever you are in nature, and, and he's there. You know, he's there. Sandra Good is an alumni of perhaps the most horrifying group that this generation has been to. The Manson family. Manson's on top of world thought and has been for a long time. It's just a damn shame that he's been held down. And, and the longer he's held down, the more hellish things will get in this country. I, you know, if, you, if you're smart, if you... If you uh, you um, care about anything, you work to get him out. Today, Sandra Good breathes the clean, fresh, free air of Vermont. Twenty years after her lover, Charles Manson, and her murderous friends in the family condemned actress Sharon Tate, her unborn child, and six other humans to eternity. Manson never killed anyone. He's cut people. I mean, he cut a guy's face. Um, he's been in fights, but he's never killed anyone. That's that's the fact. Do you think he had anything to do with the Sharon Tate murder? He had something to do with it in the in his presence in our life. He did not order the killings. He did not um, plan them. He did not execute them. Um, you might say that he was a catalyst in our waking up. Sandra Good's cool detachment from the horror of August 9th, 1969, is only matched by the white heat of the perverted massacres and the man who engineered them. He's whatever a person wants to make of him. He's a mirror, actually. By a mirror, what do you mean? A reflection of yourself. That was Sandra Good 20 years ago with Lynette, Squeaky Frog, and Sandra's child. The child that Charles Manson fathered. From is now in jail for trying to assassinate then-President Gerald Ford. From and Good are bosom buddies. She's a fine, one of the finest women in this country. In the fall of 1969, a dark cloud crept across the Hollywood landscape with the arrest of Manson and his terrible tribe. A frightening saga unraveled. Manson spoke constantly of death. Uh, he said he'd rather kill a human being than a bird or even a rattlesnake. He said everyone had to die either in their head, the killing of the ego, or out on the streets. The songs he wrote contained frequent references to death. Where did he take his family after these murders? Death Valley. He had a morbid preoccupation with death and murder. They had planned to swell their message of death. Frank Sinatra, Liz Taylor, 
Steve McQueen. All marked for murder by the family. What does good think today? We were part of a solution. We were a reaction, not Manson, us. We were a reaction to a grave situation in our country, and, and now we're a solution. We're part of a solution. Had you listened, had we been given a fair trial, had Manson been allowed to speak without being dissected by the, the media and, and, you know what I mean, distorted, had the truth been allowed to come out, we would not have the seriousness of world problems that we have now. The fair trial that Sharon Tate got was a noose tied around her neck, a knife through her stomach, her unborn child killed, four of her friends butchered. And then there was the murder of an elderly couple, the Lobiancos. Although Squeaky Fromm and Sandra Good were not implicated in the murders, they would find their way to jail on their own. Prison is also a state of mind. I walk around and I see people more locked up in their thinking than I ever was in, in prison. In other words, I was freer in prison, even though my body was locked up, than I see the majority of people. When Squeaky Fromm was arrested for the attempted assassination of President Ford, cops raided the apartment she shared with Sandra Good and found 3,000 letters written by Good threatening the lives of the country's top industrialists if they didn't stop polluting the environment. Sandra Good served 10 years in prison. Women's prisons aren't as bad as the way the men are having to live. In other words, we, I wasn't, I didn't have to undergo the intense hardships that, that Manson's forced to undergo. They treat him worse than, uh, I mean, you talk about a political prisoner, that is your number one political prisoner. She was eventually paroled to Vermont in 1985, where she immediately took up the stated Manson family cause of the environment. Love of the lakes, love of the trees, and love of animals. It's a pity Manson didn't feel that way about human beings. Anyway, the real reason why she came to Vermont was because authorities didn't want her to go to California, where she wanted to be next to her beloved Charlie. You refused.